shit. I did not sign for this haircut to be like this ever since I got, since hair shops starts opening. Hair shops? I mean, I meant barber shops. This has been a long overdue video of me talking about or reviewing a game. I'm not a fucking reviewer, but I do admire reviewers I watch and the games I, um, the games I play and really want to support the game developers who I support when they make video games that make it really fun. But when I first got Last of Us Part Two, I was very, you know, I was very excited. You know, I thought it was gonna be better than the first game, which is still a fucking masterpiece in my book. So this will lay that to rest as treated perfectly. But this, this is a doozy. This game is really a really doozy. More like a story told poorly that kind of really set a foul mood in my mouth, to be honest. You know, Last of Us Part Two is a is an okay game for me. I really don't mind the game, but what I don't mind is is the gameplay itself. The graphics is beautiful and all that shit. The music, the voice acting, spontaneously amazing. But what really gripes me the most is the story. And sure enough, there's a lot of people online who make really good reviews. I highly recommend three reviewers who review the game at a really, a really normal pace, which is Angry Joe, Critical Nobody, and Young Gaia, which is channels I watch for uh, watching games, game content, and all that shit. So I highly recommend you go watch these reviews. But this is just my personal take on the game, so we're about to address what I don't like about the game. Again, it's the plot. The plot was told poorly. It was mismatch out of nowhere. Then you get to two hour shit. And of course, like it is okay to talk about spoilers now because ever since these leaks came out months ago, I made a video, last video, talking about people bitching complaining about the game that they never played it for 30 hours or so. But now since I played it for 20 plus hours, I was very disappointed in the plot. And when I say disappointed, I mean, I'm disappointed in how the direction it went. And so much so it, it became bland and it became it became what it is. Look, I'm not, I'm not saying shit about the characters. Like I love the previous characters, Joel and Ellie. Like these are the characters that I played when the first game came out and shit. And to be honest, it is like their story. You know, I wanted to see their story until the Last of Us Part Two comes out. I wanted to see their, their the years that they spend together until like shit went down and uh, Ellie found out about everything. And it, this show, it does show down in the game, but it was misplaced. They could just put that in the two hours of the game, you know? And there was some few nitpicks, a little bunch of bugs, but I'm not gonna say much because still the game looks fucking incredible. And the graphic wise, music wise, as I said previously, they are fucking spot on. But what takes the cake is a five takeaway points away from Last of Us plot and story. Yes, there's gonna be a rating system on here. But I wanna send out ideas, and I agree with Angry Joe's uh, point. And um, if you guys see his video, pause the video right now, go see that point that Angry Joe was talking about. I'm pretty sure if I got it right, if I don't, then I don't know what to say. Anyway. They could just let that, they could just brought Ellie and Joel, like growing up, like Ellie growing up with Joel alongside him, like teaching him how to play guitar and shit. That's what I like about the games too as well. I'll talk about those, I'll talk about those moments later on after this part. What I don't really like is the pacing and the pacing is really, really uh, off, off putting to me because of how jambled everything was. 
what Angry Joe's idea was is that what if like after uh, Ellie f finds out, then she meets up a new best friend, Abby, and then she still gets along with Dina as her love interest. And Jesse has a really good friend and made Abby as a best friend, even though she's working for the WLF. She's like, I work for this. I work for WLF, you know, like, I hope we, we don't want to fuck with you and all that shit. It could have been, it could have been perfect, you know, like getting them to know each other. And then she, she finds out that her father figure is Joel. And then all of a sudden, that's it. That's like, more like, make it like six hours or seven hours of the game. And then we add an extra like 18 hours of like why like Ellie first and then I believe Abby would be in a second campaign and look I don't mind I don't mind playing the eyes of a villain of the game which is which is really cool I mean, there's nothing wrong with playing the villain in any other games that we play we I mean we play villains on like on fucking Star Wars for example or fucking uh we play villains on fucking Super Mario Party or some shit. We play villains all the time in party games or one of those experience-like games that we see as the game itself. That's what I, that's what I like about playing Abby in these short eight hours of uh, her playthrough in the main campaign. And then it goes flip-flops and then everyone knows that Ellie should have died. But she did it. And Ellie should have killed Abby in the end. But she did it. She hesitated. It felt like, oh, I forgive her for fucking killing Joel. Which is the biggest disappointment of the plot. And I felt that it was very, very inconcisive of how the story ended. What I do like about this game of course the graphics and all that shit but these these amazing moments that i really enjoyed about last of us part two and that is seeing joel and ellie getting along together and celebrating her birthday that was my the most heartwarming moment i've ever seen in a game and and then we got to see these moments that you get to see a relationship starts to drift apart once Ellie finds out what really happened at the at that hospital in the first game. See, these are the moments I like. That should have been like in the part, the first part of the game. What are my final thoughts of this game? As I said before, the plot, I was really, really disappointed. You know, I love the first game. This game deserves a high praise. I, again, this is a 10 out of 10 out of me. And this is, again, one of my favorite games of all time in my personal list. This game, Last of Us Part Two, is just, it feels like a piece of poo, but a gold, a gold turd that's still shining because of the graphics and the music and everything else. Again, I still don't mind this game. This game is good, but the plot is shit. That's all I could say about, as not a reviewer, but as a consumer or a regular person on the internet making a, making a shitty review about Last of Us Part Two. So with that in mind, this game is not bad, but shitty, shitty plot. I give this game a 6.5 out of 10. If you guys like my rating or review with shit, feel free to comment down below. If you play the game, tell me what you think. If you like it, great, welcome. If you don't, you can fuck off. So, hope you guys take care. And Ghost of Tsushima is going to come out pretty soon. And I'm excited for that game too as well. Be sure to check out that review next time. Take care, everybody.